Little Miss Stella. Roger Hargreaves. Little Miss Stella had an amazing gift. She could make clothes to fit anybody. She had made the longest pair of trousers in the world to fit Mr. Tall. She had made the smallest shoes in the world to fit Little Miss Tiny's tiny feet. Little Miss Stella had even made a coat to fit Mr. Jelly. Last week, Little Miss Stella took her dog for a walk in the woods behind Dropstitch Cottage where she lives. As she walked along, she bumped into something, but there was nothing there. Ouch! said the something that looked like nothing. Little Miss Stella looked closer and she could just make out the shape of somebody. Somebody who was see-through. Who are you? she asked. I'm Little Miss Nobody, said a sad voice. Little Miss Stella felt sorry for Little Miss Nobody. So she invited her back to Dropstitch Cottage for dinner. As they chatted, she discovered that Little Miss Nobody's biggest problem in life was that everybody kept walking into her because nobody could see her. Little Miss Stella suggested that she stay the night. And, as she was saying good night to Little Miss Nobody, she had a fantastic idea. While Little Miss Nobody slept, Little Miss Stella worked through the night. She stitched and sewed and braided and hemmed until her fingers were sore and her back ached. But as the sun rose over the wood behind her cottage, she was just adding the finishing touches to her idea. And I am sure you have already guessed what her idea was. She had made Little Miss Nobody a suit of clothes. And when she tried them on, they fitted perfectly. Now, when Little Miss Nobody goes out for a walk, no one bumps into her because they can all see her. And that is not all. Now that everyone can see Little Miss Nobody, they all know who she is and say hello to her when they see her. I'm no longer a nobody, she said. Now I am a somebody. As for Little Miss Stella, she was so proud of her clothes that she decided to have a show, and she would like to invite you to it. Thank you for listening.